Tuesday, everyone. My dad just came over earlier today and got me one of those cushions that I could sit on to help my tailbone. And I've been sitting on it today in this chair, and it feels better. Not 100%, but better. If I sit on the couch with this, the couch is so soft that this goes in and the couch goes in, and it doesn't feel very good, but on a firmer chair, it does the job. And it's pretty tall. And I'm liking it so far. If anybody's having lower back issues, you might want to give this a try. It's hard to find in Bed Bath & Beyond and Walmart because it's a pre-order thing. And apparently they order some and they sell out quick. So if you want to order it online, that might be your best bet for 20 bucks. So far, so good today. And yesterday, you saw that we got a new dishwasher. It's one of those little mini ones that you put up on top of the counter or table. A <laughs> mini. It takes up <laughs> a good two-thirds of my counter space, but um, because of my back, it's hard to stand there and wash dishes. Uh, so we got this. And we did three loads so far, and it, it's pretty good. Right, it's not, this is not as full as it was. There was a little more in here, but it does the job. It gets things clean, so I'm pretty happy about that. And so is my husband. We love it. So if anybody lives in a small apartment or home and it's just them, they need to do a light load, I would definitely suggest that. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to let you know that today is a bad day for my back, but my dad got the pillow and I've been sitting on it in the kitchen or bringing the chair inside because it's not working very well on the couch. My couches are too soft. Anyway, <clears throat> fast forward. I had a very bad food day. Um, I overate on cereal. And um, then those things that I made today, that I had like one too many. And it was just a bad day. And I think it was because I just wasn't feeling well and I just took it out on food to make me feel better. And I feel bad about it, but tomorrow is another day and I'm getting back on track. Those pinwheels are out, gone. Um, I'm, I am making uh, one of my favorite dishes. It's um, squash pie. And I just have to write up the calories right now for that. But I'm, I know it, it can be slightly high. Slightly. Because it has uh, oil in it. And uh, it has part skim mozzarella. But I'm going to watch that and like have a sliver of it with breakfast or have a sliver with it with lunch instead of getting the normal square. After what I just went through today, I don't want to mess up two days in a row. I just want to let you know that today was one of those days where it was bad for me and I don't even want to look at the scale, you know. Just not feeling it and I'm going to wait a few days and then go back on. I should just do it once a week, you know, but arr, I'm just crazy. I need to see that number. And I also want to start taking my measurements because measurements also matter. Where you may not move on the scale, but you'll see a movement on the tape measure. You may be losing inches before you're losing weight. Anyway, I just felt the need to express what was going on with me today and why it's such a short vlog. And like many of you who fall off the horse, you know, we got to get back on it. Tomorrow's a new day. Stay focused. Think of the end goal. Think of why you're doing it. I think I'm going to put up my vision board to remind myself why I'm doing this. A vision board is a good idea. You know, it's a bunch of goals, words, and images that you put up on a board, like a collage, and you figure out. Uh, what you want out of life, why you want to do things, and it doesn't have to be just weight loss, it could just be a goal, like why am I working so hard? Um, and that's just a nice reminder. So I had made one a while ago and I haven't put it up, but I think I need it now. I need that in my daily life, so when I pass by I'm like, yes, 
that's why I'm doing it. Hope everyone had a great Tuesday and love you guys. Good night.